Sometimes knowing how a certain triathlete reached their goals can inspire you to do better for yourself or maybe to pursue and join the world of triathlon. From being a nobody to being an Ironman champion, some triathletes have many stories to tell. In today's video, we'll be covering Daniel Bakagard's net worth and life story. So if you're on the hunt for some motivation or maybe want to know about Dane's life, be sure to watch this video until the end. Welcome to Triathlon Global Insights, the motivation channel for all triathletes. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to stay updated with what's happening in the triathlon world. We keep you updated about triathlon news, incredible races, training tips, and information about pro athletes. Daniel Bakagard of Denmark is one of long distance triathlon's emerging talents. Having raced into the top 10 in the PTO standings during the outstanding 2021 season, Daniel Bakagard is currently among the best long distance triathletes globally, but the road to getting there was paved with hardship. The 25 year old is coming off a fantastic year in which he finished third in the Ironman 70.3 World Championship in St. George and won Team Europe's first Collins Cup in Samarin, but as he prepares for the most exciting year in sports history in 2022, Bakagard is featured in a new PTO documentary to reflect on some of the pivotal occasions in his life. Then, he was torn between misery, some of which drove him to dark depths. Daniel's quest for celebrity began at a young age, helped, as always, by the most important person in his life, his mother, Anne. After a stellar junior swimming career in which he won 20 national titles, the 25-year-old just moved to triathlon in 2014. And he soon showed his talent across three disciplines instead of just one. Bakagard, based in Odense, Denmark, was introduced to triathlon through the Danish Triathlon Federation's youth program. In 2018, he made his Ironman 70.3 debut after quickly showing his ability for lengthier events. Bakagard, who Casper Gel coaches, shot to attention in 2019 after winning Ironman Australia in his first full distance race, which helped catapult him into the PTO's global top 40. The Dane celebrated his win in Austria with the Bakkegaard Smash, which earned him the year's best finish award from Triathlon Magazine. Daniel also won Ironman 70.3 Finland in 2019, and he finished first at Ironman 70.3 Tallinn in 2020. With a history of competitive swimming, Bakkegaard conquering his first 1.9 kilometer by himself was not surprising. His 22 minute 45 second time was over 90 minutes faster than Balash Coke and nearly three minutes faster than Keenle, who had recently broken his collarbone. With a third of the fast bike circuit finished, the Dane had a trio of German riders after him, Andreas Streets, Nils Frumholt, and Keenle, but they were still more than two minutes behind him. Bakkegaard would get it to T2 on his own but Dreets, 1 hour, 58 minutes, and 6 seconds, and Keenlay at 1 hour, 57 minutes, and 30 seconds were only 20 seconds behind him when they dismounted. The German star, who Daniel views as one of his triathlon inspirations, was the closest opponent early on, but the Dane was not fading at all on the run clocking a 1 hour, 13 minute, and 57 second half marathon to finish 1 minute and 45 seconds ahead of Keenle. In 2021, Bakkegaard won 70.3 races in Dubai and Lanzarote and broke the 8 hour barrier for the full course by coming third in Tulsa. With a third place result in the Ironman 70.3 World Championship in St. George, he also demonstrated his big race credentials. With the Ironman World Championship title firmly in sights, the Dane is not short on ambition. Winning Hawaii is my greatest desire, he adds. Because of his swimming background, Bakagard's top individual rating is in the pool, while his bike and run numbers have substantially improved since his beginnings in the sport. He is truly a well-rounded triathlete who has no flaws. With two podium finishes and three more top 10 finishes in 2018, Daniel Bakagard demonstrated his long distance talent. After finishing seventh at Ironman 70.3 Marbella to start the year, the Dane placed third in Challenge Finland and Challenge Walksea, 
both of which were won by German great Sebastian Kienle. He followed that up with a 4th place finish at Challenge Paguera and a 6th place finish at Challenge Sardinia. Bakkegaard's breakout season came in 2019 with a win at Ironman Austria in July. He won by nearly 11 minutes in 8 hours, 14 minutes, and 26 seconds, with the 2nd best splits in each discipline, 47 minutes and 1 second, 4 hours, 28 minutes, and 22 seconds, and 2 hours, 53 minutes, and 10 seconds. This was only eight days after winning the Ironman 70.3 Finland race. In Bahrain, Bakkegaard finished second to eventual Olympic winner Christian Blumenfeld at Ironman 70.3. In Pontevedra, he finished sixth in the ITU Long Distance Championship, 15th in the Ironman World Championship in Kona, and 16th in the Ironman 70.3 World Championship in Nice, France. Daniel won his only event during the COVID-19 affected 2020 season, Ironman 70.3 Tallinn. With a 1 hour, 13 minute, 56 second run split, he led out of the water and held off Germany's Sebastian Kienle. With victories at Ironman 70.3 Dubai in March, and Ironman 70.3 Lanzarote in October, the Danes started and finished 2021 on a high note. Three third place finishes, including bronze in the Ironman 70.3 World Championship in St. George, sandwiched these performances. Beard also had a strong showing at the inaugural Collins Cup, finishing third fastest on the day and claiming a podium finish at Ironman Tulsa. Daniel Bakkegaard finished sixth in the PTO World Rankings at the end of 2021 after demonstrating excellent consistency and development over two years. His three greatest qualifying results saw him jump seven spots to 27th rank at the end of 2020, but he climbed another 21 spaces in 2021. The PTO World Rankings were not just about bragging rights, the athletes competed for a bonus pool of $2 million in the race for the rankings. This was determined using rankings from the end of the year. Each athlete was given a point total based on the average of their three best races during 13 months. Frodino came up short there, with his overall score of 102.82 being dragged down by his 88.10 at Challenge Grand Canaria. Unfortunately, bad weather at Ironman California cut short his racing season. Without getting too technical and detailing the process in depth, an athlete's score for a particular race is determined by their time, not their finish place. The starting point is 100 points, and their timing determines the variance below or above compared to the PTO's ideal time for that particular race. Regarding which events are point eligible, it includes any non-drafting race with at least a professional prize pool that is longer than the Olympic distance. Now that you already know Dane and all the hard work he does to be able to achieve his goals, you might wonder, how much is his net worth? Well, there's no available information about a net worth. But maybe all of his income came from being a successful triathlete. That ends our video for today. What are your thoughts on Daniel Backegaard's life story? Leave a comment below to let us know. Thanks for watching and staying with me till the end. You may like, subscribe, and press that notification bell so that you'll be updated on our next upload. Take care, everyone. Bye.